so, you know, I'll quickly dive into the topic. We have something very interesting that we often read about. We have it on Twitter. We discuss and we have brought it to this forum, which is Rebuilding Across the News TV. First of all, what made us even, you know, think of this topic? Is it said the story? What is wrong that we have to even discuss this? I mean, I, I think that a day perhaps would not be would not be long enough for us to start really dissecting what you're saying. But I guess the fact that you've chosen this topic is a reflection of uh, of what ails uh, news television, what ails national television. Uh, I was, I think, just yesterday I read uh, somewhere that how for the international press, for the international media, the Indian media has become a joke. You know, the Indian television media has become a joke in large parts because of certain steps and certain moves which have been undertaken by the Indian media. And there are many who would argue that why do we need any justification or certification of the global press? I think that argument is also valid uh, in parts. But to say that everything is absolutely above board, nothing is broken in Indian television or in Indian print today, I would say, I think would be missing the wood for the trees. So I guess your topic is right, it's timely. And it's a topic which needs to be debated extensively. At India, I make it a point on a daily basis. I reiterate this, that the choice ultimately is of the, of the viewer. What do you want? What you want in more proportions is what the media will give you in even greater proportions. So at India Ahead, what is the story? How are you trying to fix this in your, whatever is in your control, how are you addressing that part? Well, that's, that's the most important question that you raise, other than all the other translated questions which I'm sure you may have. In a nutshell, Ruin, what, uh, what we really attempted to do at India Day is on the basis of the collective experience that my team and I have had over the last two decades across various television newsrooms, and it gives me great, uh, great pleasure and pride that today at India Day, you know, we have the best and the brightest from multiple newsrooms uh, across the country, digital, television, print, and the story that I hear from, from everybody is the same. That we want to grow. It's not as if the people don't want to, you know, put in the extra work or, uh, or, or really try and, and push the bar, but it's just that legacy media has ended up becoming a platform where the question of raising the bar becomes very difficult. So what do we do? What we do is we've identified a weakness or a vacancy which existed within this very crowded television ecosystem. The first we can see was that we said that why should all national television coverage be restricted to what's happening between Delhi, Mumbai, maybe Lucknow, uh, and in parts, and in parts maybe Patna, as and when the story goes bigger. Is India just restricted to these centers which typically contribute to TRPs? I've often said this in the past, and I have absolutely uh, no problem in, in repeating uh, this once again. I think. The entire geographical map of India has been changed because of the desire to change, change TRPs. There are stories which happen in the southern parts of the country, there are stories which happen in the eastern parts of the country, sometimes we just don't spend enough time. I have taken it upon myself, because I said let me lead by example. A lot of my colleagues don't necessarily agree with me, and some of my colleagues are here. Uh, the, you see, it's very easy to fall for the story which is unfolding on the day, but how do look for something which may be somewhere there, but we may be unwilling to identify the story squarely, turn the spotlight squarely on that story. That's what we do at India Head. Between 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock on a daily basis, 3 hours, Monday to Friday, special focus on the southern states, 8 p.m. on a daily basis, Monday to Friday, the top story is not what is happening in Delhi, not what's happening in Parliament, not what's happening elsewhere. It's about what's happening, the top story in the southern states. I'm now going to be completing two years now in July, and I kid you not, I have never ever struggled to identify that story. Which means that there are enough stories, it's just that we weren't willing to look for those stories. We are now looking for those stories, it's giving us uh, great goodwill, it's giving us great joy. Uh, and I must share with you that on the 19th of next month, we are now going to be the first major Indian national television news entity to be taking this entire exercise to Dubai. We're now expanding in the Middle Eastern parts of the world, uh, and, and the kind of feedback and the kind of response that we're getting there is, is just phenomenal, just huge. Right. You know, we, we often, when we try to understand why, you know, we, news has been reduced to shouting matches at times, you know, 
So the idea, the, the problem lies with the business model. You know, you need to get attention, right? What we have seen, like a lot of uh, new uh, channels that have started or publications, they start with an honest, uh, you know, the motive is honest to change the uh, things and you know bring in a change, but they end up becoming the same, right? So, do you fear that sooner or later, you know, this might happen to a noble cause like you have still started and I'll, I'll you want to change the ecosystem? I'll tell you why that happens. Uh, and Anurag and I have, uh, and I have often spoken about this. I think the fundamental problem, again with television, I'm only talking about television right now, the fundamental problem with television is the over dependence on ad agency ecosystem. If I start sharing with you the stories which have been narrated to me, and in some cases, I don't know, maybe there are people here from agencies as well. Uh, some of the top most CEOs in the, in this country of big broadcasting organizations. I've often had these conversations with these CEOs. And I ask them that, how is it possible that a program which is being reprimanded on an anchor who's being scrutinized by pretty much every court in the country. Again, it gives me great pleasure that India Head is the only entity, only one major news network right at the beginning of of uh, my entrepreneur journey here should be for 150 crores, and I was very happy. I wore, I wear it as a badge of pride, uh, you know, on my uh, uh, on my sleeve that they valued us to that degree. We're the only entity which is not, which has not been wrapped on our knuckles by some arm of the judiciary. You name one national television entity which has not been accused of spreading fake news, spreading bigotry. You know, looking looking at a story from an angle which perhaps uh, deserved a, a different look at. The fundamental problem is the ad agency ecosystem. Because a person who's fixing your ad rate, your price at which you'll sell yourself, is not interested in your content. I've had conversations with those people, but on what basis are you fixing this price? They say, no, it's okay, you have a chart channel, you have a distribution, you have a tick box. It's all tick boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If there are ten boxes, if you take seven, Okay, fine. Then my relationship with you, you know, I like you. I don't. If I like you, your price is maybe five x. I don't like you, but you still pick the boxes. Your price is maybe three x. There is a complete disconnect between the content which is being produced and the price which is being offered by ad agencies, because nobody is wanting to fix it and everybody is a beneficiary. So, so that's that's why you reach where you reach today. So I have time for ten minutes. Ten more minutes are left. So you are also part of this ecosystem. This debate is also somewhere. It is a, there's something you have contributed or you know some you have been part of the system. When you look back, is it something you feel that I could not have done, I would have done differently? Only only thing I must say, Noel, is this that I think I should have taken this step in my life far earlier. There were opportunities, uh, but you know everything has a time, uh, and, and who would not like comfort? You know I don't come from a business family. I mean uh, Victor and I had the pleasure of working with each other for a while uh, in ADT. Uh, you know, I'm a, I still look at myself as a quintessential reporter. I love adapting to technology. My other grouse with my own colleagues is that I'm the only one who's thinking tech. <laughs> you know, and and, uh, and often others are, are shying away. I would love to share with you that on Twitter Spaces, again, this is the only entity. I would urge all of you who are here, please watch these programs. India Head is the only entity which has blended audio content with video content on a daily basis. We have roughly 1,000 people who are joining us via this audio town hall live on our platform, live on our television channel. So if I'm interviewing Mr. Chandra on a television camera, there are 1,000 people. You know, we're all there. On, on Twitter spaces, we've integrated it live. There is a great conversation which is happening. If I'm on audio, I'm on a mobile phone sitting in my car, I can ask you a question if you're on my television camera. These, I, I genuinely believe, I genuinely believe that these kind of initiatives over a period of time, will end up finding this agency within this ad agency ecosystem as well, which right now is fixed by TRPs. I do not subscribe to the TRP model. I don't care whether my TRP is right at the bottom, which it is, by the way, because I don't have uh, the money to work on uh, on distribution platforms. But are we not doing reasonable business? We're doing reasonable business. Can we do better business? I think, the, I think the, there is enough opportunity for that as the agency start recognizing this kind of part. My, my final question, you know, we have been hoping that the news TV will change. And we've been discussing this, I think, over the last two, three years at least. But what we've seen, you know, is a bit of performance. You know, some of the news anchors, I won't name, you know, they go all the way, they dance on uh, the screen. 
Where is it headed from here on? Don't you do entrepreneur honor some of those items? Yeah. I, I, I thought maybe some of these awards for some people. Some of these awards as well. <laughs> Look, you know, uh, I'm into each their own, uh, and I wish everybody well. But I think the time is now coming before Indian television media, if it is not already come, where some of these people will have to ask these questions to themselves. That is this uh, can, how long can this story really last? You will ask yourself. Does it what does what does it matter to you? Does it matter to you that I'm I'm giving you information which should be of importance to you, or how many push-ups I'm doing? You know on the news floor. Does it matter to you? Uh, am I am I jumping ten times? You know am I am I boxing or I'm doing something? I'm screaming. I can scream, right? But. I think that that model is broken. That model is broken. I feel sorry for poor reporters. I feel sorry for very bright, enterprising journalists. You know, I, I was in a conversation the other day uh, with a researcher, and he was telling me that the number of people who are now quitting media altogether, news media, apparently is at its highest in the last two years. So something to be stated about this model of entertainment versus information. Yes, thank you so much. We don't have time for a question. Okay. okay. <laughs> So, uh, Bobin, we have the pleasure of having you, and you know, um, while I meet Vikram, and then I can do whatever I have to do with you. Now, when you do, now when you do journalism, now <laughs> you said you give us, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, you said you said dirty secret. I have no clue now. What's what's going on between you and me? <laughs> yeah, but Bobin, um, you know, of course, I know your journey and so on and so forth. When you now turned an entrepreneur. You're first an entrepreneur, or are you first a journalist? I can't be an entrepreneur if I'm not a journalist. In my business, in my business, in the business that I'm in. Right? But the skills for being an entrepreneur is another set, and that's why, you know, uh, I've asked the similar question to Vikram, to the different. What are the new things that you added on as a professional that you're discovering? Some things, you know, you got to look at distribution. You got to look at uh, business aspects like. Recruitment, you know, of business people. You want to look at revenue. You want to look at the brand. Of course, in news, the journalists and the journalism you do is the brand, right? So, give us a sense of what have you been able to focus on and balance. I, uh, the first thing I learned um, when I when I started putting on the hat of an entrepreneur was the sheer appreciation of those who were doing sales and marketing all this while. Uh, it's not as if that in our in our previous avatars, uh, in my previous avatar at least, it's not as if that I was not associated with the world of business. Uh, let me also break this this huge you know phrase which a lot of editors of your or great legacy media organizations would give that there is this great wall which exists between editorial and marketing. No such wall exists. Uh, and anybody who tells you is only pulling wool over eyes. No matter who that is, including me. If I was to tell you that this wall exists, I'm lying to you. So I would lie to you. Uh, I think the time has changed completely. Uh, the first thing I learned was greater appreciation of creating content which will bring value. Value not just from the point of view of what the viewer is watching, but also from the point of view of which entity would be willing to back that kind of content. Branded content. Branded content. Uh, people who would feel that they could be beneficiaries of a certain kind of content, or people who would feel that, okay, fine. This is an information, I, I think healthcare sector for instance. You look at the kind of innovations which are taking place. Please watch our digital series uh, which is called Innovation, starts with E. Uh, I, I, we're spending a lot of our time uh, you know, looking at uh, looking at the kind of great moves which are being made in the healthcare setup. Uh, just a short while back before I came here, a healthcare startup was, was having discussions with us in terms of you know, uh, creating something which is information based, but something which, which helps it. That is what I think is a huge skill set which I have acquired. The other, you know, games of distribution and uh, these are all, you know, products which have been there. I mean, these are all moves which have been a part of the business journey in the past as well. But there is greater appreciation of what works and what doesn't work. In my earlier avatar, I wouldn't have, you know, blinked twice to send five people on a journey across the world because someone has to Spain. Uh, but today, I do think twice. I do think. Uh, uh, I myself, I'm a, I'm a big exponent, as you know, of, of, of using the mobile phone as a broadcasting technology. Uh, we've been trying to see whether an iPad and a, 
and a mobile phone working together, can they replace a television studio and so on? These are the kind of books you'll be looking at. My last question is, the young students of Jalandhar from IMC, the other students, there are some of the winners who are being recognized in the afternoon in the audience. Uh, what is your advice to them as they move to their next phase in their editorial journalistic career? Well, just, just focus on storytelling. If you have a story, it will be told. Let me assure you, if you don't tell the story, someone else will tell the story. But that story in today's day and age will come out no matter what, so you may as well be the person who tells that story. The whole point, see, when I started off my career, we used to have something called BD. Right, where you come back, you shoot through the day, you come back, you write a lovely script, someone else edits it for you. There's an anchor who then comes out, does a link, and the story gets played out with a 30, 15 second, you know, PDC in between. Those days are gone. Right? Uh, it was replaced by a stand up where you replace visuals, all driven by business models. I think those days are gone as well. Uh, today we have a former vice chief. Again, another great initiative that we've done. A former vice chief of the Indian Army today is our exclusive video blogger. He does a weekly series for us. What does he talk about? It's not a television show. It's a it's a show which is shot on mobile phones, uh, and it's a it's a show which talks about foreign policy. It does talk it talks about war from a strategic point of view. What is it that India has? What is it that India needs to look at? Russia, Ukraine. I mean, all kinds of things. So more focus, more awareness, and more recognition, please, of technology is what can set you apart from, from people of the past. Thank you, Bhupen. Uh,